a Venezuelan model is so obsessed with having a 20 inch waist that she is doing something known as waist training and she's been doing it for the past six years. It's where you're wearing a corset that's so tight that it shifts certain organs and it makes your waist look like a size that's unnatural if you ask me. Anyway, uh, Barcroft has obtained video of this crazy phenomenon and this Venezuelan model, so let's take a look at that. Alira Avendano is pushing her body to the limits, squeezing her waist down to an eye water in 20 inches by wearing a corset for the last six years. Yo duermo con eso, soy obsesiva. Es mi segunda piel, la piel que habito. <laughs> She's also had surgery to enhance her shape, but she could be pushing her body too far. Yo insistiría en que detenga el proceso de reducción. Yeah, no, you said in my opinion, it's just, of course, it's in everybody's opinion. It, it looks unnatural, it looks weird. So don't get me wrong, it's not like some guys won't be turned on by it, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to focus on. Yeah. Really? Really? No, I... I I find it so I find two things that are turn off about it. It's mm -hmm. so unnatural that I don't feel like I'm ha I would be having sex with an actual human being. It's like a weird robotic doll or whatever. Second of all, you take the corset off and she has all those like like indentations because she wears it 23 hours a day. It's distracting. Look, I I'm I'm not a very moral person. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Shrink the breast down a little bit, cool it with the corset, and then I'm very interested. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You just made it comical, thereby going over the top and and having it be a turn off rather than a turn on. Yeah. So I, I, I don't like the way that it looks, and I'm doing my best not to be judgmental because at the end of the day, it's her body, and if this is what she finds attractive, she should do it. But the thing is, I don't think that she finds it attractive. I think that she's convinced that society finds that attractive, right? Because we have this stupid obsession with massive asses, a tiny waist, and big fake titties, okay? Mm -hmm. But the reality is that's not a natural looking body. And I'm sure the way that she looked before was perfectly fine. And look, I, look, I can't be judgmental about plastic surgery. I've had plastic surgery, I got my nose done, and so I don't judge people who do it. But I think it crosses the line when you put yourself in a dangerous situation. In this case, she is literally harming her health. Doctors are telling her, stop doing it. But her weird, you know, obsession with it causes her to continue doing this. You know, I agree with you. I think that she's being encouraged by others, uh, certainly. And one of the things she's probably mistaking is that I would be shocked if every guy that didn't walk by her didn't turn around, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I think she's confusing that for like, got him. See, they're interested. I knew it. I should keep wearing the corset. But they're partly looking at you because it looks so different that it's hard not to look at it. And they're partly looking at you because of your tits. <laughs> okay, let's just keep it real. So I, I think that they're going to, after staring at you for 15 to 20 seconds, they'll notice, whoa, that waist is really thin. But it's not like people are going, guys are walking around looking for thin waist. Like, oh, oh, shit, did you check out the thin waist on her? <laughs> no, right? some guys are. Some guys, look, it's all about proportions. And in this case, it's unproportional. So I get it. I get people who want a smaller waist, bigger hips, and fuller breasts. That's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with finding that desirable. In fact, you know, women who have that type of body are considered to be more fertile, which is why men are more attracted to them. That's the whole evolutionary advantage of it. But this is unnatural, and it's dangerous. I, and who cares if it's unnatural? I'm unnatural, okay? The makeup I wear makes me unnatural. But it's not unsafe. In this yeah. case, what she's doing is unsafe. So... We're just asking for bounds of reason. Yeah. If you tone down the unnaturalness, we'd kind of be turned on by it. And I just... I don't... <laughs> so just bring it down. I guess it's too late. And I am worried about her. There's no way that you wear that for 23 hours a day, including when you're sleeping, and do that thing with your waist that, that is not normal, and it doesn't somehow hurt you. Yeah. So I'm definitely worried about her health. She's had three breast augmentations to get her boobs to the size that she wanted. Mm -hmm. And no, it becomes an obsession. It's obvious. I'm yeah. positive that the first breast augmentation she had was plenty enough. Mm -hmm. And everybody would have been interested in her at that point. But she had to take it over the top. So now, yes, she does get more looks, more stares. Uh, but my guess is she didn't really improve uh, her attractiveness uh, to the male species. Because this is bordering on absurd. Yeah.